Hello and welcome everyone to another GTA 5 gameplay commentary video here on my channel today. My name is Derek or Chunky Monkey 40 whatever you guys want to call me, I don't care. So today I have news from Funim W2 and this news relates to the single player expansion DLCs and also the casino coming soon. Be sure to leave a like on this video before I get into this amazing information I have. Also subscribe so you can stay updated with all of this news. For all you gamblers that want to see the great Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online Casino to open up. This video will make you very happy. A few days ago, FunMW2 posted on the GTA Forums website in like a things missing from GTA Online 2013 page. And he said, I miss FOS V4 Capture. It was modded, but I've helped Rockstar improve their security. It should be legit because I was a billionaire who provided all those players who played my capture with 75,000. Rockstar removed my capture and took my money for the casino that will be coming with single player DLC. Now I don't know much about what exactly he means by this because in this post he isn't too clear about it. For all I know he could be meaning something way different than it seems. Does it mean Lowriders 2 single player DLC? I don't know. He does actually give us more information though. Funim W2 was responding to a conversation in a next DLC for GTA Online thread on the GTA forums again. The conversation started with what do you what do you guys think will be the next update after Lowriders Part 2? When do you think it will be released? Several people responded before Funim W2 did and they said nobody knows for certain except Rockstar on what is coming after Lowriders 2. Here is what I want to see for the whole year. Just speculation. Lowriders 2 February. Valentine's DLC February. Single player DLC may get two DLCs. One is enough in my opinion. April and May. Regular update. Cars closed theme July, Casino DLC September, regular update different theme cars and clothing in October, a regular update November and festive surprise 2016 in December. Now this guy is onto something because all of these ideas sound good to me. I would love another casino, I would love single player DLCs and just overall anything new from Rockstar Games to GTA Online is accepted for me. But then another guy says I heard fun saying something about the casino coming with the single player DLC but I agree with you it's extremely likely that we will see a single player DLC this year so he is the guy that brought fun to come out and say the casino is coming with single player DLC alongside some new mini games and activities it will contain two DLCs according to previous updates coding from the coding I could see it, that it's going to be massive now wow <laughs> just wow I can see that it's going to be massive says Funim W2. That quote makes me so excited for this. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. But actually there is more. In the same next DLC thread, Funim W2 also comes out to say the casino is coming to both single player and multiplayer according to 1.13 update coding. Three new minigames, blackjack, poker, slot. Actually the casino was found in a script related to online called AM underscore MP underscore property underscore INT. Okay this is making me extremely happy that 2016 is here. I can't wait for all this. Now me personally, I am not a gambler and don't ever plan to be, but if this does come out, I will be sure to gamble and stream it so you guys can see me suck at poker live on YouTube. FunW2 says on the post on the screen right now that the casino will come to both single player and multiplayer. So that just makes me even more happy to be able to go to the casino and gamble. Now since poker, blackjack, and slots are already found, what if other stuff that you would see like pool or beer pong I guess is possibly in the coding but wow I do actually remember leaks from last year about the casino and before I type the script for this video I actually went back and watched some videos from early 2015 about leaked casino content and found both single player and casino leaks they're all from another reputable source Yan2295 and are backed by Funim W2 as he confirms which is on your screen right now so it looks like there will not be one single player DLC but two agent and zombies the first one involves IAA and then casino heist this is super cool not only do we get to use the casino but we also get to rob it with Michael Trevor and Franklin or even possibly a new character that Rockstar may end up introducing I am so hyped but from here it only gets better Yan also says the second one would have different missions probably designed for endings A and B the first is for ending C then so in my opinion that basically 
essentially means that there will be three different pathways in each DLC depending on how you ended your GTA 5 storyline. If you chose ending C, you take the ending C pathway. But I have one problem with this and that is that will you be able to play all the other storylines? I feel like you will but it just seems unclear. Yan even states, looks like it will also add new features for cell phones, new shops, new interiors, etc. Also around 40 to 50 new missions. Holy crap guys. If all this stuff comes out this year, then you guys will be seeing a lot of mission walkthroughs here on the channel along with showcases and more. So subscribe to the channel so I can keep you guys posted. But guys, that is all the information I have for you guys today. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Yes, I do know that all the stuff from Yan2295 is from last year on May the 20th, but it fits the theme of this video. So I felt it was necessary to bring it up again and add it into this video. Anyway, I'm Chunky Monkey 40 at youtube.com. Peace out guys. Be sure to check out Silent Killer Season 2. Links on the screen and also in the description for you guys. Peace out. Hey, what is up guys? Chunky Monkey 40 here. Be sure to like the video if you did and subscribe to my channel along with Samurai 27 Games, Jokester18, and Dynamic Gaming Feather. Your feedback is welcomed in the comments, so go ahead and post one. Now peace out, y'all.